All right, guys, I'm going to apologize if the camera's a little close. Uh, my selfie stick broke the other day, uh, so I kind of got to hold the camera a little bit closer to me. But uh, today's video may be an interesting one for you guys. Uh, if you have a GT500 like me or any other uh, blown car or Mustang, if you have a positive displacement blower on your Mustang, you're going to know uh, exactly what this problem is. problem is IAT2s in the summertime it is just unbearable I do not enjoy driving the car whatsoever if the the temperature is above honestly like 70 degrees and even still then it's still too hot most of the time uh, so we are going to um, take advantage of a small errand run my wife wants to go down to sally's go get some hair dye i figure i stopped by pet boys and we're gonna do a little experiment we're gonna try some vp cool down uh, which is a water coolant additive um, mainly it's made for your cooling system for the actual engine uh, it's not exactly designed for your water to air intercooler setup but we're gonna try it out just to see if it works i had a guy on uh instagram tell me he saw a minus 10 degree iet2 difference i'm not really buying it's gonna do that or honestly even anything at all but we're gonna try it out for 10 bucks it's worth the gamble to see if it works so currently in my system i am running a typical ford coolant uh if you can see in there it is the gold coolant uh, i run predominantly ford gold coolant with a little bit of water because i was trying out some ice in this tank uh last summer so um predominantly though it is ford coolant uh, typically what i see is about a 30 degree iat2 or iat1 to iat2 delta um when the car is for first warming up that IET 1 and 2 is pretty damn close, uh, but within, let's say, 15, 20 minutes of driving, the IET 2 starts soaring a little bit, and that delta is pretty much always right around 25 to 35 degrees, let's say. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a bottle of VP cooldown to this. Uh, we're going to do a quick lap down the highway, get the car warm, and then we're going to go down kind of cruising down low speeds to get it really warm and elevated and see if this stuff truly does make any kind of difference. Um, so we will uh, get back to you once we're at Pet Boys. We'll dump it in. We'll show some IT2s before and after. Uh, right now it is almost 85 degrees. It's still fairly early in the morning. I suppose to get in the 90s later today. But again, this should be a good test to see if that delta changes at all. Or And again, I kind of have an idea where it sits and what kind of weather. So I'll be able to tell if it makes any kind of difference. Uh, so we'll see you guys back in a bit. So as you can see, we just started up the car two minutes ago. Uh, IET1 is uh, 84 degrees. IET2 is 85 degrees. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get driving. And as we get driving a few minutes, um, as the IET1 starts getting a little bit uh, hotter due to the headers, um, you're going to start seeing that IET soaring. Uh, my guess is in 85 degree weather, uh, we're probably going to see those IET1s getting up to probably high 90s and at cruise uh, we're probably gonna see the IAT2 around 115 maybe something like that uh, it's not blazing blazing hot out today but it's pretty warm um, so we're gonna go ahead and cruise for about 10 minutes or so till we get to our location and uh, IATs should be a little bit closer to what I expect them to be uh, once the headers warm up the bay a little bit so now we've been driving for about five minutes uh, we're sitting at a light this is the first light we stopped at and this is gonna be typical IAT for weather like this uh, 104 106 IAT 1 sitting at a light and uh, crawling up to 115, 116, 117 or so. Uh, once we start get going, um, the IAT does not come down a ton. Uh, it'll come down a couple degrees. So it'll probably get down to like 110-ish, 112-ish or so, uh, going about 40 miles an hour. 
uh, going on the highway again it's it's not gonna creep too much lower it stays pretty consistent uh, even at highway speeds so now we're getting a little bit closer to uh, what we would have as good testing data uh, would be at pet boys in probably about five minutes so these numbers will skew a little bit so we are at a dead stop sitting at pet boys uh, this is usually what your iat twos are going to look like after the car sitting for a few minutes um, right before this it was sitting around 120 to 125 so i'm going to go ahead and pour this in and uh, we're going to see what it looks like and then we'll test the iets on the way home all right, so this stuff says that uh, one bottle is supposed to treat 12 to 20 pints. Uh, I believe it is pints. Uh, 12 to 20 quarts, I'm sorry. Um, so this is a two and a half gallon uh, tank over here, and then whatever goes through the intercooler. So we're gonna try this out with dumping this all in, um, see how it works. Uh, I don't know the conversion off the top of my head, but you know, YOLO. Um, I can actually see the water having some heat coming off of it. Usually that does not look like that, but we'll go ahead and dump this shit in. And cross our fingers and see how it goes. Oh, spilled a little bit there. All right, so we'll wipe that up quick and then uh, we'll go for a ride. Okay, so the question is, does this stuff work? Uh, I'm gonna say so far, I'm gonna give this a no. Uh, you can see IAT1 is 100 degrees right now. IAT2 is about 122. I would say we're cruising about 70 miles an hour. Um, that's pretty much what it's normally like when it's 100 ambient. I would say it's, it's normally in the low uh, 120s to about 125. Uh, so I will say so far this stuff has done pretty much absolutely nothing, but I'm only out 10 bucks to find that out. Um, once we get home, I'm going to go ahead and open up the reservoir and see if this stuff's foaming up at all. Uh, just to see if I put too much in or not, but again, so far I can't say that I'm seeing any difference uh, on a pretty hot day. Um, again, the temperature did go up quite a bit as well. I would say it's probably, it's got to be 90 degrees at this point. Uh, so we'll check out the reservoir when we get home. All right, so I just started the car up. It's been sitting in the sun. Uh, IATs are 133 and 139. Again, that's pretty typical for sitting. Let's see if this shit is foaming up at all. And it is not foaming up, so that's good. Uh, that takes care of that wives tale about this stuff foaming up and becoming a mess. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and park the car for a little bit. Um, it is pretty brutal out right now. Um, again, it is brutal out right now. Um, it's got to be 95 fucking degrees right now. So um, super high humidity. So it's pretty stupid out right now. Um, if I'm cruising at 60 and IAT1 is 108, that's good indication that you can't really do shit about IATs on a day like this. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more testing on a cooler day. Uh, we'll let it get a little bit more shade, but uh, initially what I was seeing, uh, I was seeing about, like I said, 122, 123 on the highway, cruising about 60, IAT1 was 108. Um, so the spread seems like it's good. The Delta, um, the Delta seems like it is good, but the car usually doesn't go over 125, 126 at cruise. Um, under watt on a hot day like this, I don't know, because I try not to go watt on a day like this, but I know the other night, um, IET1 was in the 80s, and I want to say cruise was around 115 or so uh, at night. And going at Watt, I think I was out of my pools at like 127 when I was doing those races the other night against that Paxton car. So, um, you know, again, the car usually doesn't go over 127, 128-ish or so if I get on it at some kind of normal temperature i don't even want to try fucking with this thing at this kind of temperature because i just know it's going to cruise over it should cruise over 130 no problem uh so let's do a little bit more testing before we call this stuff a failure but initially i'm going to say this stuff is up but you know 10 bucks worth a try uh but uh i'll get back to you guys and let you know so i tested this stuff out a little bit more yesterday uh actually the day before 
Um, ambient te temperature was mid high 80s and uh, IATs were normal, um, if not anything a tad bit elevated. Um, on the highway, uh, I was seeing IATs of like 120 to 123 at cruise. Uh, so I'm going to say this stuff is a bust. This does not work good for intercoolers. So right here is where it goes. Uh, so guys, don't waste your money on that stuff. It does not work good for intercoolers. Um, in a much hotter system, like your actual coolant system that runs through the motor, maybe that stuff is probably pretty good. Intercoolers, don't waste the money. So uh, $10 lesson learned, but now uh, myth is busted. So thanks uh, for joining me for another video. Um, I hope this was value valuable to you guys to not waste that money. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.